What's up everybody, it's Roya. I am back for another video, as you guys can see here by the title. Today's video is finally going to be a fall fragrance haul and recommendation. I don't have too many fragrances that I hauled, I'll be honest. Um, as you guys know, I am about 15 weeks pregnant. And so certain fragrances these days have just not really been doing it for me. Um, I have like gone to Nordstrom and Macy's and smelled a few things. But nothing that's just like caught my attention to say like, oh my gosh, I need to buy this fragrance. So I did, when I went in Macy's, they have this, I feel like it's new to me, but people apparently have known about it, but it's called their backstage area. I don't know, or last act or whatever. And I found a fragrance and then I ordered a uh, rollerball of a fragrance because I wanted to give it a try and I didn't know if I was going to love it. Um, or loathe it so I only got it in like a little small travel spray but I'll show you guys that in a minute and then I'll show you guys my recommendations for the fall the fragrances that I've finally been able to pull out and I've actually been wearing quite a bit um yeah it took a long time for fall to get here in Atlanta so I was wearing spring and summer fragrances up until maybe like a week and a half ago so yeah, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so the first fragrance that I actually picked up, um, like I said, we went to Macy's. I really went in there for some like fall items for Caden, just like clothing wise. But of course I always have to stop over by the fragrance. And then I went in our particular Macy's, the, fr the last act area is like upstairs. And I went upstairs and I found this fragrance and I'm not gonna lie, when I smelled it, I fell in love with it. It's by uh, Corez. They sell this in Sephora as well. I remember them selling it back in the day. I don't know if they still sell um, their line because they do like beauty items, body care. But I found this fragrance. It is an Eau de Toilette. It's a 1.7 ounce and it's vanilla, freesia, and leche. And it smells divine. And like I said, my sense of smell has been very just off lately I don't know how to explain it like I just a lot of the times people and people could really be smelling good a lot of the times I feel like they smell like BO like you smell like body odor um but this is what it looks like I'm not gonna lie I'm not a fan of like the top portion of it but whatever but the actual fragrance smells good I'm actually gonna wear it today so let me just spray it on so I can give you a real like gist of, ooh, of what it smells like. It smells really, really pretty. It's very fall-esque. It reminds me a little bit, not a lot of it, but a little bit of a fragrance I used to wear back in the day, a little cheapy fragrance from um, Victoria's Secret called Very Sexy, like in the red bottle. Um, yeah, but I, I like it. I'm gonna put it out on my vanity with my current fragrances. I'll probably do it in this format because it looks better this way. But yeah, I hate the top. The top just looks like a medicine cap to me, but whatever. Nonetheless, and this was, I think it was like $25. Really, really inexpensive. Was not a lot at all, but it smells good. And like I said, these days, it takes a lot to impress me when it comes to fragrance. So I was very happy to get that. And then lastly, I picked up this. I ordered this online. I ordered it from Nordstrom. It's the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Essence Fragrance. And I, like I said, I got it in the uh, travel spray just because I don't, with my senses being off, I really did not want to invest in this huge bottle of fragrance that I end up not using. So, but to me, this smells good. This is definitely like... Um, something I would wear more for a special occasion. In my opinion, this one is just like a daily, you know, you just want to smell good. It smells very berry-like. Um, this is a very grown woman. Um, and I just love the little tube that it's in. I thought it was super nice. Again, just a little purse spray, something you can carry around with you. But I felt like it was enough to give me a good gist of the fragrance. And if it's something that I'll end up, you know, permanently wanting to add to my collection. So I picked that up. And then when I ordered this, because it was like a beauty item, you get some samples of fragrance. And then I placed an order. Um, like I said, I've been buying fall clothing and stuff for Caden. 
Um, and I bought a couple of beauty things as well. And so I got a few more perfume um, samples. The first one is Jo Malone's Poppy and Barley. And I like getting Jo Malone samples because I'll be honest, it's been very, very long since I purchased a full size bottle of anything from Jo Malone because it doesn't last on me. And I always find that is a waste of my money. Even the smaller bottles, it just literally I'll spray it on like before I go to work. So that's what seven or eight o'clock in the morning. By the time I get to lunch, I, it's nothing. It's gone. Like, I just smell like body wash, you know, like whatever I washed in. So I'm not a fan of that. For 70 bucks, it's like, I want my fragrance to last. But I'm glad they sent me a sample of that, so I will try it out. I always take Jo Malone samples on vacation. Anytime we go on vacation, I bring them with me. Um, Nectarine Blossom and Honey, also by Jo Malone. I don't know what I got on that. Um, so there's that. I did pick that up. And then Lilabo. I actually got two samples from Lilabo. I got another 13 and Sandel 33. I've never tried Lilabo fragrances, so I was happy to get some samples. I will be testing these out and seeing how I like them. I also want to actually try their Intimates detergent and see if that's something I like. But I'm very, like, my skin is very sensitive, so I'm always like mm, on the fence about stuff like that then i also got a sample of sunset riot by all saints this actually smells really good i smelled this at the counter the other day y'all excuse my nails like i have a nail appointment set up do not worry i've just been so busy that i couldn't keep with my last regular appointment but anyways so i got a sample of this i actually smelled this at the counter the other day and i really like that and then i also got a sample of this tom ford metalique fragrance looks like this and that's a little sample i'm just gonna throw these in my little sample case but yeah samples galore so i was happy about that okay, so the first thing that i pulled out of my arsenal of goodies for the fall and i've been enjoying this is dolce and gabbana's the one this is actually a fresh new bottle i purchased it last year because i was running low this is a staple for me. I have it in a roller ball as well. I love this fragrance. It really reminds me of the holidays because for like two years in a row, I wore it every like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I just love this. It smells so good. I remember hearing about this. Um, I don't know if you guys know about him. His name is Charles Gross here on YouTube. And he's the one who kind of like sucked me in. Him and um, Kendra from the Glam Twins. So I did go ahead and pull out Dulce and Gabbana's The One, and I have been really, really enjoying it. This is totally appropriate for the season. And I've even worn this to the office and it hasn't been offensive at all. Next up, I pulled out Valentino's Valentina. Love this fragrance. I got this, was it last year? I can't remember if it was last year or the year before for Christmas, and I love this fragrance. It is woody, yet floral. It is just the epitome of fall to me. It's warm, but it's very light. I wore it the other day, and I just, I love this. I have to actually stop myself um, from wearing so much of it. I have put quite a dent in it since I got it, but I love this. I think it's gorgeous. It's it's different for me because you guys know I love a good Chanel fragrance. So this is very, very different for me. And I love it. I love the fact that it's light, but it's woody. It does have sandalwood in it, I believe. And it's still floral. Um, the combination of all of those is just amazing for me. So I love this. Valentino's Valentina is a gorgeous fragrance if you're looking for something that's soft and subtle for the fall and winter. Next up, I had to pull out Gucci Guilty. This is my favorite. It's like one of my favorite date night fragrances it was just a must that I pulled this out um I've already worn it twice this season I feel like I can wear this on date night I can wear this on a casual day so I definitely had to make sure that this was out and about for me to choose from when it came to fall and winter fragrances I don't know if I'm changing my fragrances for the winter time but this has definitely always been a staple I have been wearing this for years so if you have not already tried Gucci Guilty it's definitely worth the money especially for the season it's just invoking it kind of wraps around you it, it's it's a very like come hither scent um and i've had this one now for this is like my second year haven't blown through it but i've definitely put a dent in it i love gucci guilty next up is a chanel fragrance it's not a video if i'm not talking about chanel 
I love Chanel. Y'all know I love Chanel fragrances. I found out about this last year from Happy Stylish Mommy. This is the uh, Chanel Paris Venice. This is from the, oh, I can't remember the line. I know it's not the exclusives, but it's another like exclusive line where they only have like four or five of them um, in total. At this point, I believe this is like only exclusive to Nordstrom and the Chanel boutiques, but I just love this. Like I said, I got it last year. I wore it a lot, but you can't tell because of the, the fine mist on this. The mist on this is so fine that I feel like you do not waste product with this particular bottle. Um, and a lot of the Chanel fragrances are like that. So if you are looking for a nice subtle invoking light this is a very light fragrance this is not heavy in the slightest definitely check this out i believe it's like 130 dollars, and then if you want like the smaller bottle it's 80 but i definitely 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 think it's worth every single penny i love this fragrance i was so ready to pull it back out i don't think it's um in my opinion, appropriate for like a spring summer fragrance because to me, then it, it it does lean over to the heavy side. But for the season, this is like light, definitely on the lighter side of fall uh, fragrances. But Paris Venice by Chanel is gorgeous. Okay, so I have talked about this a ton, a ton, a ton of times. This is Burberry Touch. I love this fragrance. I've had it for a couple of years now. I am going to get a bigger bottle once I finish this 1.7 ounce, but I will say this 1.7 ounce has lasted me quite some time because I got this for my birthday like two years ago. Claire's bought it for me and I love it. This is so woodsy and just mysterious and it's like a medi it's medium in its body. It's not super heavy. Um, but this to me is like the epitome of the Burberry trench coat. You would expect to smell like this if you were wearing a Burberry trench coat. I just love this fragrance. I've heard tons of people talk about it. You can definitely check it out. And um, I've seen a lot of blog posts about it, seen it on Instagram. This is just beautiful. And the wood cap just does it for me. I don't know why, but this smells amazing and the men's version of this smells really really good too so love this and then I have to talk about these together I did go ahead and pull out some Coco Chanel as well um I pulled out the original Coco Mademoiselle which is you guys know a date night favorite of mine and then I also pulled out the Coco Mademoiselle Intense I got this last year for Chris no it wasn't Christmas I got this for Valentine's Day last year and I've had this for well, I've been purchasing this for several years. I can't remember when I bought the last bottle of it, but I adore it. Um, I have not been using as much of this bottle because I also have this in a travel version, but I just feel like it can't be fall for me if I don't pull. If At first, it was if I was not pulling out this one. Since they've come out with this one, I feel like this has to be part of the equation as well. This one easily slides into the winter time as well. Um, now that I have this one, I will admit that last year I put this one away after fall was over and when it got really crisp outside and really cold, I was specifically wearing this. This is gorgeous. They're both amazing. They smell similar, but not the same. This one is definitely way more intense. This is definitely a scent you wanna wear when you're like going out. This one's definitely more playful. And now that I have both, I definitely can tell the difference. This is more playful, more vibrant, more fun, more daytime at this point. And I definitely love rocking the intense at night. Both my favorites though. Of course, I had to pull out a really nice gourmand fragrance. This is La Via Belle by Lancome. This is one of my favorite gourmand scents. If you want something that is heavy, heavy but sweet and come hither and not overpowering and doesn't do too much, but it does have that heaviness, that gourmand scent, Definitely check out La Via Belle by Lancome. I've had this in my collection for years. I'm not going to lie. I kept this year. I just wanted familiarity. F familiarity? Since that were familiar to me. Um, I didn't, like I said, um, with the way my senses are these days, I just wanted things that I knew smelt good on me, that I love, that I'm passionate about. And so these scents are just that. Um, love me some La Via Belle. If you are looking, like I said, for something that's gourmand, heavy, sweet, but still subtle, if that makes any sense, La Via Belle is where it's at. I 
Oh, I could just smell this all day. It's beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, Hence the name, Life is Beautiful. That's the translation, but I love me some La Via Belle. So if you're looking for a nice gourmand scent to add to your fall or winter collection because it's easily sliced into the winter time, definitely check out La Via Belle's um, La Via Belle by Lancome. Then I pulled out this beauty. This is Carolina Herrera's uh, Good Girl or yeah good girl um this is the legere version so it's a little more on the floral side but it still has that gourmand sweet musky scent to it which i love if you want to smell sexy this is a very sexy scent like if you want to smell super super sexy definitely definitely purchase this you can also purchase the original version i plan to layer this with i do have them um, the body cream love it love all of it if you want a nice layering piece i suggest purchasing the body cream that goes with this the mist on this is super fine and it just looks amazing sitting on your vanity i got this for christmas last year and i adore it i had to pull it out for the fall it is just the most sexy scent like out of everything i think this is the sexiest scent um in my fall collection at this moment but Super sexy fragrance. I love it and I just love the presentation of it. The original smells equally as good, but this just has a, a slightly sweeter, lighter, um, a hint more floral in it. And I love that about it. And then lastly, I pulled out Sarah Jessica Parker's stash. I pulled out the fragrance and I pulled out the body oil. This body oil lasts on me a very, very long time, which is why I put it out um, with the rest of my collection. This fragrance, I told y'all, it just smells like a boozy, rich woman. I'm talking, she drink brown liquor, y'all. I keep telling y'all, like, it's just the truth. Um, this has a very Hennessy, Remy, you know, just a dark liquor smell to it. But when I tell you it is very appealing, um, you will wear this and people will want to know what you have on. It, I, I, I'm not even going to say borderline. It is very unisex in my opinion. I could see a man wearing this and with his chemistry, it would like take over and be perfectly fine. I love this scent. When I'm finished with it, I'm definitely going to get a bigger bottle. I don't know if this is discontinued because it's been very hard for me to find it. When I originally purchased it, I purchased it at Ulta. Now, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've been in an Ulta, so it may not be discontinued. I'll just have to look and see, but I love this. If you are looking for something out of everything that I've shown you today, this is the most unique fragrance. When you smell it, you can't pinpoint it to something. It just really reminds me of a rich, drunk woman. Like, I don't know how to explain that, but it's good. And then with the body oil, I love this because you can kind of slather this like all over your pulse points and not even wear the fragrance. And this is going to last you a good four to five hours without even layering. Once you layer it, you've got a whole day's worth of fragrance going on. So love these both. I did pull them out just... For something that was unique, when I'm going for something different and I don't want to smell like everyone else, this is the fragrance that I'll be going for for the fall. So, And this definitely slides into the winter time as well. So definitely get your hands on it if you can. All right, you guys, that is everything that I wanted to show you as far as fall recommendations and a little bit of a haul. Like I said, maybe next year or in a couple of months come April, once I have this baby, um... My scents will be, you know, in a better space, um, which is why I was so glad to get the samples because I am going to test them out, try them out. And um, hopefully, you know, like I said, once my senses get back to where I feel like they're somewhat normal, um, I'll be able to uh, make some different purchases and add some things to my collection. But I'm really excited and happy where my collection is, to be honest with you guys as well. So I really didn't feel the need to like purchase anything mega different this year but i'm um, very excited about this donna karen um you guys know i purchased the body lotion every couple of years which i do have sitting on my vanity right now so this is going to be perfect to layer it with if you guys have any questions um comments definitely leave them in the comments below like i said i'm really sorry it's been so long since i filmed a video but i work full time and I work middays now. Um, got the bun in the oven. So I have, you know, my doctor's appointments and stuff and just trying to kind of slide into the season. I've just been kind of behind. I do apologize. Um, 
but hopefully I can get back on track with my videos. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!